What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today is the first episode of Beastly's Indies and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've got tons of different subjects that I want to cover with you guys and I expect that I'm going to have a lot of fun making these videos because unlike most of my scripted stuff, this is completely off the top of my head. I'm more interested in hearing your thoughts on these independent videos than anything else. Of course, I'm going to give you guys my perspective on my own subjects. But I am just as excited to hear your thoughts on said subject. So I want to get started with the very top of my list. When is a good time to have that talk? Now, disclaimer, I am very well aware that a lot of you guys are not parents, but you are children or teenagers or young adults. One for sure. And uh, even though you might not be a parent, you can just as easily dig in deep and uh, get into the comment box and talk to me about this subject. When is a good time to have that talk? That talk, the, the mythical talk that parents have with their children, some of them don't, about sex, about uh, getting with the opposite sex and about, you know, protection, about when's a good age, about learning about your body and all that good stuff. Now, I'm in this crazy place in my life. I've got two teenage boys who know about the birds and the bees. They're both virgins. Don't let them lie to you. They're totally virgins. Uh, I feel like at this age in their life, they don't need to be worried about girls. Uh, they need to be focused on school and, and worried about what comes after school and, and getting their lives together. But they are very, very well versed in what happens between men and women and what can potentially happen uh, after a physical interaction between the two. Uh, the way that I raise my sons, I believe that sex is something that, of course, every young man needs to know about, but there is a time limit. You don't need to know about sex before you're able to actually go through with the act. Puberty age is a really good age uh, to start learning about sex. And so around the age of 11 and 12, I started talking to my boys about three years ago. And uh, I, I explained to them what, what actually happens, uh, what the female body goes through, uh, what happens to the male anatomy. And you guys can probably imagine the expression on my son's faces as I went through vulgar details, explained to them exactly uh, what happens between men and women. Now, uh, some people, some parents don't even go through this. Honestly, my father was the kind of father that never, ever sat down with my, me or my older brother and actually talked to us about this kind of stuff. He uh, just said, you know, back in those days, he just say, well, you meet your wife, you're going to... But he never told us anything. And so I had to find out the hard way inside his car. Thanks, Dad. Uh, but I wanted my sons to be more versed, honestly. I wanted them to be more well-versed. So for me, I was really, really late to the game. I was actually 18 when I first dated. Uh, and the first girl I dated was actually my ex-wife. <laughs> and uh, I had to go through the whole rig and roll kind of blind and, and figure everything out for myself. And... Uh, while I'm happy I did, and I was actually really good at it, I would have probably been better off, or I would have fared better, if my dad had pulled me to the side and said, Okay, son, I see you dating this chick. This, try this, or do, or do this, or don't do this. Uh, but I never had that talk. And of course, in school, they don't go really in-depth in the way that I feel uh, a parent would. And so with my boys, I kind of gave them an idea. I talked to them uh, at around 11 or 12. And I pretty much hipped in the game. Now they're at the age now where, especially my older son, he's 6'1", he's 14. The girls are on him. And uh, he says, yeah, Dad, these girls. I said, well, hey, look, man, right now you need to stay focused on what you're doing. You know, I want them to stay focused. And I know that young, beautiful women have a way of getting you sidetracked. And in their young, impressionable minds, that's going to be an easy thing to get sidetracked with. So I'm trying to keep them steadfast. Who knows whether or not I'll be able to keep this accomplished. But as of right now, i got some A-plus students, honor roll students, and uh, they're pretty focused on high school and college. So who knows what will happen over the next couple of years. But I I, um, I picked that time because I felt that was a good time. Their bodies are starting to go through changes at that point. And, of course, with those changes, you need to know why you're changing. And they have a mother who's not with me who can't really teach them about being a man. So I want them to know what is happening with their manhood, what it's used for, when to use it, how to protect it, and uh, also what type of women to look out for. You know, in my mind, there are good, there's certain types of girls to look out for and there's certain types of girls to run away from. And I talked to him about loose chicks who are out there trying to sample every guy in, in high school. And I talked to him about young, 
ladies as well. So I, I gave my boys some pretty good information. And I'm, I'm actually really, really proud of that. Uh, it's something that my father kind of missed out on. He talked to me about business a lot in life and talked to me about marketing all my life. But something that, um, that personal and something that close, he kind of let, the, he let the ball drop. I'll just say it that way. But I'm very, very happy you let me borrow your car, dad. I love you for that. You guys let me know in the comment section below. If you're a parent, What's a good time for you? You know your situation. You know your child better than anybody. What's a good age for you to have that talk with your child about the birds and the bees? If you are a young person, a young male, a young female, uh, what was the period of time that your parents talked to you about? Did your parents even talk to you about it? Like I said before, my parents didn't. I was living with my father. He didn't talk to me about it, but he let me borrow his car. So maybe back in those days, that was the talk. Here, take the keys. You guys let me know what you think in the comment box below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. And definitely, definitely subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the first Beastly Indie. There's about 52 more that I got here. And uh, that should keep me busy for the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.